Hi, my name is Amanda Smith. I am from Sunrise Day Camp, Long Island, and today we will be making rainbow cupcakes. Before you start, make sure to wash your hands. For this recipe, you need one box of white cake mix, three eggs, a half cup vegetable oil, a cup of water, food coloring, frosting, and sprinkles. First, we're gonna take our cake mix out and cut it open into the bowl so it doesn't get everywhere. Make sure you get all of it out. Next, you are gonna put in a measure I pre-measured pre it, but make sure to measure out a half cup of vegetable oil. After that, you take a cup of water and you add that to your mixture. The last ingredient you need for the batter is three eggs. Um, have an adult crack eggs if you do not know how to. And then after you crack your eggs, make sure to wash your hands. After all the ingredients are in the bowl, you're gonna mix it around until all the ingredients are together and it has a liquidy consistency, liquidy, liquid consistency with no lumps of batter. Okay, so now that our batter is all ready to color, we are going to separate it into you could use any color you want. You could use as many colors you want, or you could do no colors and make regular cupcakes. But for this, I'm gonna make four different colored batters. And so that means I'm gonna need four bowls, four mixing spoons, and I'm gonna separate it evenly, or not evenly. You could do it, you could get really creative and do whatever you want for this. So now that I have four bowls of the regular batter. I'm gonna get the colors I am choosing to use. I, for this video, I will be using green food dye, blue food dye, pink, and orange. Okay, so once it's the color, once you have all the colors to how you want them to be. It is time to put it in the cupcake tin. First, I'm gonna pour in some pink in some of them, not all of them, because I'm gonna do them all differently. So now it is time to put them in the oven and I will be back when I think they are ready in about 15 or 16 minutes. My cupcakes have cooled and I transferred them to this tray. Um, I knew it was done. I took a toothpick and stick it into the cupcake. If you stick the toothpick in and take it out and there's no cupcake that comes in off on it, that indicates that the cupcakes are done and ready to be taken out of the oven. Now it is time to frost them. For this, I'm gonna be using Betty Crocker vanilla frosting. And before I start, I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like. This is what the inside of the cupcake look, looks like. It's super bright and so fun. And each cupcake has its own little design. So now I'm gonna frost them. Make sure they're completely cooled so that the frosting process is easier. Okay, so I'm gonna take the frosting and taking, I'm gonna take this cupcake and I'm gonna do a thin layer but enough to cover the entire cupcake. And I'm also going to add some sprinkles to this one. So you take some sprinkles, 
sprinkle it on there. And now you have a finished cupcake that you could eat, share with your friends, share with your family. And they're really, really fun to make. Make sure when you make these to send in a video or a picture of how your cupcakes came out. We would love to see how yours look. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to hit the notification bell. Um, thank you for coming along this journey for making cupcakes with me. And I hope you have as much fun as I did. Bye.